Oh, here we go, part seven, video number seven. We just finished this one, of those night shots we got up next. Oh, the VA juice. Yeah, I, re I remember this. Uh, I got two VA juice. I think this is when he came back and he knocked over one. Yeah, he knocked over one. Mm -hmm. 360, uh, well, 180 degrees turn. You see, Tori's train. He loves training. He, I mean, he's crazy about those trains. And I got all kinds of toys just to see what, how he reacts. Uh, we piling up garbage. Very interesting here. We pile up garbage because we pile up garbage because he likes to get into the garbage. Okay. He's eating your garbage wherever you at. Believe me. This is a piece of roofing. This is something really. Why you heard me say they start off from an eighth of an inch and some of them is as tall as two feet because this piece of roofing came from a part of uh, connecting one part of a building to another building right outside this window and one day <clears throat> there was a uh, young lady who used to pass by here a friend of mine for years and uh, she would come once or twice a, twice a week and uh, I would pay her to clean my house or something you know but not so much in my house the land or whatever so one day she goes to clean, I got the gate open, and she goes to go back into the back bathroom. Which I just show you where we keep everything. And man, we had like myself, Nora, we had Lizbeth, me. I think there was four of us in the house at the time, and the woman. She came back there. She must have started him because he's watching me, but he don't know someone else is coming to clean. He, he's not thinking on that. And she must have started him. And he ran across the roof, and you can hear two feet, whatever it was, enough four feet, it was two feet. And it must have weighed about 30 pounds. And he got to that section of the roof, which it was not. It just laid across to keep the rain from getting to the garbage. And it completely caved in. I grabbed my camera, quickly ran over to see what I could. I couldn't find nothing. But everybody, everybody heard it and said, wow, what was that? But she didn't hear it. She never heard it. But everybody in the house heard it. Anyway, that's why I say some of them, that and other reasons why some of them must be a, must grow as being much two feet tall and weigh 30, 40 pounds. Uh, let me go on. This is, I just took that because I, I don't leave my toilet dirty like that. I don't clean my house like I should, but I keep my toilet clean. And I went back and I was aware because of different things. He was in my bathroom messing around. So he climbed up there, whatever he did. You see how nasty it is. Just like the, uh, the printer was. See how nasty it is. This white powder. He was scraping. I believe it's paint. He was scraping it from a window ledge. And what he does with I don't know what... Put, brought my attention to it. I noticed it was there, and I noticed this circle. Everything about arrows is circles. You know. Whatever you do, some circles between circles, light and sound, he can just zap you. Anyway, I noticed it in a circle, so I just collected and say, "Well, then let's get it analyzed." So here is a uh, how they eat. I told you that in Flickr too. This is uh, the food I used to. The, uh, I give them this noni. And you see how they embed into it. This this would be would have been in the refrigerator in the open. And they just get into it and embed it. And they absorb it. And, and they do absorb it because after pass after pass so long, it all the food goes away. You know. Um this here, no longer there. This was an example of when I said the rules of engagement. Because what we had here was a RTT. We had a glass two glasses that was here. See there no longer here. Slightly after I took started taking pictures he moved it. But it's buried underneath that 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 uh, soil. You can see it a little bit. But what I did was I caught it while he was burying it. And there. So again what you really have here is like those arrow moving heads. You see in those picture when I say arrow moving head. Well you can go down to an arrow moving head. You can pick them up Put them in, put them in your hand. You can see two legs, you can see two arms. You can see see a human face, or more like a monster type face. But again, you don't want to do that. Well, these two look like some old glasses. But what what they are, what I call the RTT, uh, rejuvenation time tubes, where they get inside them somehow, and it's got something between that and an electrolyte grate that keeps them going. I, I, I say they're older than dirt, you know. Anyway, so which he he went on and covered it up. But at that time, you know, you can, it's something that physically you can go pick up and, and analyze. See, what is this has this guy built? He builds all kind of little things. Some of it you see as a spirit. Some of it you see as physical. 
Okay, let's move on. I think I had just maybe one more photo of that again in a different setting on the camera to see what happens. It looks like two old glasses. And it's very much physical. You can see it with your naked eye. He covered up. Wasn't there one day, next day you go there, it's there, and he covered it up, and now I took pictures and stuff. He moved it. One of my favorite pictures. Daytime, taking a... Just pointing the camera up into the sky in the day as opposed to the night. That's part of the roof and you can see it. I just love this picture. And you know, the thing to get you about all these bright pictures and stuff is that uh, even though you can see it on some at night, I mean, it's bright, it's bright, but you cannot see it. You cannot see it. When you put a flash on it, like I always say, you know, if you take a strobe light and put it in, point it to the sky where arrows are at night, you get a, a, a video where arrows are doing maybe all kinds of things. But um, it's just amazing how he does it. Okay, when you hear me call, this is the International um, Starship Flash. This is the one I spoke of where in Cota Coquatro, a man saw uh, an Aristocian Starship and his phone wouldn't work to call a friend, but he took a picture. When he got, his picture was pure white. Nothing in the picture. And um, I have a lot of pictures like that, and this is why. In other words, however he operates, there is a starship there, but you can't see it. All you're going to get is white. And I think the reason why, is you'll see in a few minutes why. He's got the whole, there's another one. He's got the whole area saturated, different days, pure white. You know, you're not going to, you see it, everything normal in there, but you don't see nothing, no little cloud, no nothing, but you see the palm trees. So you can see it's, it's something completely, completely white there. And the trees and stuff prove that. Okay, I think before we go do this one, we'll stop right now. Uh, I think it's video number six. Number six? Yes. <clears throat>